So the thing about um, when you uncover something um, in, on an archaeology site, you have three basic questions you go. So um, what what is it? Um, what is it date to? And then um, who was responsible for building it? And so um, for this pit, the artifacts that we were covering were trending uh, really early. And so... Um, the earlier than the Washingtons, but it, that didn't make a lot of sense to us because the people that were here before the Washingtons are sort of are way over on the other part of the site. And so we kept sort of, then we found the wig curlers and that was like, okay, that's our Washington artifacts. So yeah. They're really good. The, the problem with wig curlers is they make a lot of sense on this site for a tightly dated, you know, but on in general, they're not that tightly dated. And so the, the pipe ball that we found with the with the manufacturer's name on it, um, his dates are very well known. And so he starts working in uh, 1747 or 1748 and then continues for a, a while. And then people sort of like his pipe so much they start to imitate him in the 19th century. And so we needed to look at the mark and the shape of the bowl. And that told us that, um, that this feature was created uh, was filled in this this was filled in after the pipe was first manufactured so now we know that this fill is after 47 1747 and that is solidly Washington period yeah. they arrive here in 38 so it's like 11 years after he first makes his first pipe 11 years after they arrive would you have done that without the mark or does no. the mark help so the, the mark the mark is how pipe bowls are, are they, they they keep the same style for long periods of time, but the mark is really the, the signal for us. That the, the day that guy makes his first pipe, that's our date. And so we know it has to be after that. So finding that was just, significant. Just, just cleared up a lot of, a lot yeah. of the cloudiness about this feature.